Hi, CJ here, and I have some good news. Every time you think a new thought, your brain creates a new neural pathway. And that is great news for truth thinkers. In the last edition of Life Notes, we looked at negative thinking patterns or cognitive distortions. Today we're looking at how to change this. Now you might want to look at the last video before diving into this one, and the link is in the description. There is life-giving power in your thoughts, because your thoughts shape your thinking, actions, and ultimately the reality of who you are. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, rewires the neural pathways of the brain. You'll want to check out the resource link, and I have quite a few in today's uh, episode. So check those out in the description for a more detailed understanding of what we're going to be looking at today. And by the way, you'd want to be watching on YouTube to get those links. So today we're looking at the four steps you can take to identify and correct thinking errors and negative automatic thoughts. As Roxanne Parks puts it, and I quote, your life will always move in the direction of your strongest thoughts. So arm your mind and thoughts with life-giving truth. End quote. So let's dive into it. Number one, hear your internal dialogue. What are you thinking? This is how our mind works. An event happens and that leads to an automatic thought. Interestingly, the event does not determine the automatic thought, but our perception of the event does. Following this automatic thought is an emotion, which then leads to a behavioral response. For example, Alex shows up at work and thinks, I will never get anything done today, so what's the use? He feels hopeless. This automatic thought leads to a behavioral response, which makes him put very little effort into his work that day. Recognizing how your thoughts impact your well-being is important to stopping negative thought patterns. If you want to begin to identify your negative automatic thoughts today, check out the link in the description for a resource called Simple Thought Record. Number two, analyze your internal dialogue. Identify which cognitive distortions, which negative thinking patterns are present. Now, now that you are aware of what you're thinking, you need to determine if that thought is indeed true. And you can do this by going through the list of cognitive distortions or negative thinking patterns to determine if your automatic thought fits the description of a common, distorted, or irrational belief. Remember, all empowering thoughts are based on truth, and conversely, all disempowering thoughts are based on lies. Number three, reconstruct your thinking. Write true statements to replace distorted thoughts. Remember, every time you think a thought, your brain creates a new neural pathway. And this is great news, great news for truth thinkers. Feeling is not evidence of what will take place in the future. Plus, we cannot predict the future. For example, in my earlier example, I am sure that Alex had faced difficult situations in the workplace before and was able to overcome it. So he could tell himself, although it feels impossible, I don't have sufficient evidence to believe it is impossible because I made progress before when I was in a similar situation. For some of you, this might be particularly difficult and you may need support, but do not give up because it is important to address the root of the anxiety and despair that you may feel at times to uproot the lies that we tell ourselves. And number four, practice practice, practice. The more you practice, the easier it gets to eliminate distorted thinking. Remember, every positive thought creates a new neural pathway, and that is a step in the right direction. I've got three questions for you. Are your thoughts life-giving and positive? Are your thoughts negative? 
What are you feeding your mind on that establishes your thoughts each day? Remember, your life will always move in the direction of your strongest thoughts. So, arm your mind and thoughts with life-giving truth today. 